Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It is blessing here. If it is your first time, you are welcome. For those subscribers, I welcome you on. You are guys are the best. Today I have a recipe to share with you people. Call I want to do gizzard plantain. Let's start cooking. Over here I have seasoning. I'm going to use this seasoning to season my pepper, my onions. I will garnish it now. Then with little oil, I've just put little oil inside before. Why am I doing this? Just to garnish it and then transfer it here. Put it in the oven for just two minutes to garnish this gizzard. Here I have a chopped onions. I have oil. I have my blended pepper and tomatoes. I'm going to fry to use to garnish my gizzard. Here yeah, my plantain is already and my salt. Let's start cooking. Over here now I will on my gas. Yes, you can see the gizzard is being washed. There's onions inside. I will now add my my salt. Now, I will not add my thyme. Then my Maggi Cube seasoning. This is turkey. Turkey gizzard is very strong. So you will leave it to boil. I don't add it to water. I will leave it to bring out this own juice first. Then, if necessary, I will add water. I will leave it to boil. For the next 15 minutes. Over here now, my gizzard is boiling when I will make the sauce in this pot. Remember always, I'm always using some oil for indigestion. You used to throw up if your food doesn't digest, take this oil. You won't regret it. I will not add my oil. This food I'm not eating it because that is why I see me frying it. If I am eating it, I will not fry. I have to warm the oil and wait. I will now pour my puree tomato pepper for the sauce. I will now add my thyme. I leave it to boil. Now I will add my curry for the sauce. Then I put saporiti, that was no. I will turn it and leave it to boil. Why the stew is boiling the sauce? Let me check the gizzard and test for salt. Well, this turkey gizzard is very, very strong. It can take time before it will get done. 
Oh, it's a little bit salt. The salt is okay for me. The lizard is still strong. While over here, the sauce is boiling. It's drying. By the time the oil will flow upon top the stew, it will be ready. Now, the pepper and the onions have garnished it with uh, uh, seasoning and uh, olive oil. And I put it in the oven. Try this, you will like it, for just four minutes for it to heat. Now, the gizzard is done now. It is soft. Now, the gizzard is done now and it is soft. I will now off my gas now the sauce is ready can see it I will not off my gas now over the oven now my onions and pepper have garnished to where if you are chewing it you will enjoy it Now the gizzard is ready, I am now mixing it in the pepper sauce, which I did for the gizzard to take in the sauce. You can see, is it not fantastic? Very luminous. Look at that. Just take a look of that. You can hear the sound of this gizzard. The sound alone, I love it. Just leave it to steam a bit to so just take in, in the sauce. Then it's ready to dish. Look at that. See how reddish the pepper is? The pepper I use is not spicy pepper. It's like a tatashi, but it's the sweet side. Then I have to mix it the little corner pepper that is a bit spice, just half to give it a little bit. Because my kids do not eat pepper. And see that. Take a look of that. It is done. Now I can off my gas and now finish. Look at that. This is the finishing point of my gizzard with plantain, garnish with pepper, yellow pepper, orange pepper, and red pepper. Here now you can see the flower. And I decorated it here like flour after garnishing it and I put it in the oven. Guys, check out this recipe. It is fantastic and you will know, like it. Ah, guys, here ends my video. Like what I do, share, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Whenever I upload video, you'll be the first to receive. It is me blessing here. Signing off from my kitchen. Bye. Arrivederci.